What's up YT? This is Razik with Razik Auto Transport or AT LLC. Today we're going to talk about step one which was truck in the trailer. I'm going to show you everything that I have in my truck and in my trailer that you need for you to be successful. Let's get started. guys today we're gonna talk about the truck and the trailer sorry about the wind um, I hope you can hear me 2015 Ram 3500 crew cab it's a 4x4 6.7 turbo diesel the reason why I chose this one because this is a big horn it's not a SLT or a tradesman it's one of the best in class to do this business in it only had 28,000 miles on it purchased it for 45 close to 45 50 grand with taxes and everything it was a pretty good deal I did a lot of research on 3500 and also on Ford 350 every time that I was doing research it would lead me to the 3500 and the Ram I wanted to go easy and just start out light that's why I got the 3500 but if I had a lot of experience doing this business three to five years I would have gone with the 5500 me starting out I just wanted to do 3500 and then go from there this is one of the best trucks to get I see these trucks on the freeway all the time doing this car hauling or any other type of hauling compared to the power stroke or the Duramax most of the time I see the coming diesel on the freeway all right guys my trailer a Kaufman trailer it's a 2018 I bought it brand new I actually went to North Carolina drove this truck all the way to North Carolina hitched this on there and drove all the way back to California the reason why I got it brand new is because I don't want any uh, old trailer that might mess up on me or you know you can fail in this business very very easy when you have an old equipment I know my truck was a used truck but it's it, it had only 28,000 miles on it so it's practically new heavy duty mesh wedge trailer 50 foot the reason why I got the heavy duty mesh because a lot of companies that I work with they recommend the three point straps so you got one two and three it was almost ten thousand dollars and some change for the whole trailer you have uh, seven thousand pound each axle comes out to twenty one thousand pound i installed the winch in there it has a toolbox here I have some shop towels in here I have some grease for my axles and then some straps that I put extra straps uh, make sure you get one of these your grease gun very important to have and get one of these uh, these rubber mullets rubber hammers whatever you want to call them it comes with 12,000 pound jacks so you can put this down if you have a heavy vehicle up here, carries 12,000 pounds. All right, guys, that will about do it for this video. And if you guys have any questions, uh, please do comment below. If you like this video, uh, give me thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so I can make more videos like this. I'm constantly working. I'm gonna try my best to make videos every day. 
make sure you like this video and subscribe so I can make more videos like this. Thank you. Peace.